Nelson Piquet's racist remarks about Lewis Hamilton have been rightfully condemned by the FIA and Formula 1 and highlight the huge problem within sports as a whole. Before we start, GP Blog condemn the use of any racist or discriminatory language and it will not be tolerated on our website or social media platforms. We stand with Lewis Hamilton. Piquet has been condemned by the FIA and Formula 1 after a video emerged of him using a racial slur known as the N-word to describe Hamilton. He used his disgusting language when commenting on Hamilton's incident with Max Verstappen at the 2021 British Grand Prix to Motorsport Talk's Ricardo Oliveira in November 2021. In 2013, PK was fined $10,000 and placed on indefinite probation by NASCAR after using a gay slur on social media. After that incident, PK released a statement saying, I sincerely apologise to everyone for my poor choice of words last week. I didn't mean to hurt or offend anyone. This has been a cultural learning experience that will make me a more sensitive person moving forward. However, his recent racist comments do not back this apology up and Hamilton wants to see a change in mindset in the sport. The Brit has strove for inclusion in the sport for years and has been a driving force behind the We Racers One campaign. He released a statement to say, It's more than language. These archaic mindsets need to change and have no place in our sport. I've been surrounded by these attitudes and targeted my whole life. There's been plenty of time to learn. Time has come for action. Following the emergence of the clip, the FIA released this statement. The FIA strongly condemns any racist or discriminatory language and behaviour which have no place in sports or wider society. We express our solidarity with Lewis Hamilton and fully support his commitment to equality, diversity and inclusion in motorsports. Formula One have also released a statement to show their support for the seven-time world champion. F1 teams and drivers have come together to condemn the remarks made by PK and show their support for Hamilton. Mercedes have supported their driver by condemning in the strongest terms any use of racist or discriminatory language. They added, Lewis has spearheaded our sport's effort to combat racism and he's a true champion of diversity on and off the track. Ferrari, McLaren and Aston Martin all tweeted their support for Hamilton while Haas retweeted F1's statement of condemnation. A number of drivers have also shown their support for Hamilton, including his Mercedes teammate George Russell, Alpine's Esteban Ocon and F1 rookie Joe Guan Yu. Red Bull released a statement announcing they had terminated the contract of former academy and test driver Yuri Vips following his own racism case last week. They added, the team do not condone any form of racism. This incident follows Vips' racist remarks while playing Warzone with Liam Lawson. The video for this can be found on our channel and it highlights the problem F1 still faces with racism and discrimination. Recent campaigns such as We Racers One, fronted by Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel, have helped raise awareness, but more needs to be done to continue enacting change. What will the consequences be for PK? First of all, he has been condemned and widely criticised for his remark, which has seen his reputation as a three-time world champion tarnished, and he will reportedly be banished from the F1 paddock following this controversy, according to the BBC. PK has recently issued a statement saying his comments have not been translated correctly. He said, I would like to clear up the story circulating in the media about a comment I made in an interview last year. What I said was ill thought out and I make no defence for it, but I will clarify that the term used is one that has widely and historically been used colloquially in Brazilian Portuguese as a synonym for guy or person and was never intended to offend. I would never use the word I have been accused of in some translations. I strongly condemn any suggestion that the word was used by me with the aim of belittling a driver because of his skin colour. I apologise wholeheartedly to anyone that was affected, including Lewis, who is an incredible driver, but the translation in some media that is now circulating on social media is not correct. Discrimination has no place in F1 or society, I am happy to clarify my thoughts in that respect. The FIA did not mention PK's name in their tweeted statement condemning racism and have not yet revealed any plans for major changes. However, there has been a vast number of calls online for the governing body of motorsport to initiate real change in the sport, something GP Blog stands behind. Max Verstappen's partner, Kelly PK, daughter of Nelson, liked an Instagram post by a relative Rodrigo that defended Nelson's comments about Hamilton but it's yet to be seen if she will face any consequences. More importantly, it further highlights the problems F1 must deal with as it continues to strive for inclusion and equality. The recent abuse sent towards new Sky Sports presenter Naomi Schiff as a black woman in the industry was horrifying and is another example of how much still needs to change in society and Formula One. This is the latest example in a long line of discriminatory remarks that Hamilton and other drivers have faced and is something that needs to stop immediately. Thank you for watching, I'll catch you next time.